Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Generative AI training videos with anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are just covering an overview of SAP Generative AI capabilities. So far in the last episode, we talked about the concept of creating a simple chatbot application using Python language. We have not done anything related to AI yet. Now, before you venture into the serious AI implementation, with large language model, we need to understand basics of machine learning. So today's video is an overview video. It's not a main video. It's not a complete learning, but it's an overview video to give you a perspective of what is machine learning. How do you determine the accuracy of a machine learning with mathematical formulas in case of real time implementation? Then we will talk about our use case for machine learning, which we have taken in our main generative AI training course with Anubo trainings and then final output. How does it look like a bot which will help you to predict the heart disease based on different parameters of a incoming patient and it's all going to happen in BTP with plain Python and implementation of machine learning algorithm. So let's get started this overview video with introduction to machine learning. So machine learning is a field of study field of study means it is still growing it is still in the process of growth stage so it's a field of study that gives computer an ability to learn by itself it's a very famous quote these days that humans are enjoying and machines are learning right so we are giving computers an ability to learn by itself over the time based on the business critical data without being programmed explicitly. Let me give you a simple example. So the last week I was watching a couple of horror movies on internet on my Netflix platform subscription. So this weekend when I opened the Netflix, the Netflix was suggesting me lot of horror movies to watch like Conjuring and The Grudge. So why is that Netflix did that? How come Netflix is able to recommend me my choice of movies? Yes. So that is also a machine learning algorithm, an ability where computer learn based on the pattern, based on the, based on the patterns, based on the previous data and previous actions performed by user or by the data. So based on that, computers in the future will be able to produce similar results. So in the past, we used to give data and program to the computer and computer give the output. But now in today's world, we will only give the data and the expected outcome. Yes, to the computer and what computer does it will propose a program. It will propose a program. So we just going to give input and output. What is my expected output and computer will generate the program. We call this generated program as a machine learning model yeah, or machine learning model or predictive model. So remember this term predictive model or machine learning model in Python. This is represented using a special file type called PKL. Yeah, Python, uh, Python in Python, it's called PKL file. So that is what it represents. So basically our goal will be to produce a PKL file. So when you apply machine learning, you get this kind of a plot and then you will apply another algorithm. You get this kind of a plot. You will see which algorithm is best suitable for your requirement. And this is called your ROC curve. So ROC curve is a curve based on different threshold level provide you the best result for our scenario. So rather than looking large number of confusion matrices for every scenario and every threshold for every feature, you just use simple curve which computer will plot for you. And then you can decide which model is best for your requirement when it comes to your requirement. And then again, you have AUC area under curve. So highest the area under curve that is the best model that is the best scenario so in python what we will do we will actually apply logistic regression because it's one of the best model for doing classification problem yeah for classification problem it's one of the best model and then we will drive out confusion matrix 
AUC and ROC curve using Python. And then we will be able to use that model for our use case. So that is how exactly the model accuracy and model results are predicted using machine learning. I have explained you all the maths, all the computation behind the behind the scene, what computer does when you use machine learning with example of logistic regression and heart patient. But next step, we will go live into system, use some data set and implement this machine learning, drive all these uh, you know, characteristics and put them across as a output to decide whether this model is good or not for our use case. And then we will also build an application which we will be building and deploying into SAP BTP eventually to find out our predictions in the future when user is so first we will do the modeling yes so with the modeling we will get a model and then we will have apply model so once the model is created it's set then we will apply that the actual data so in the future after my model is built based on past data with certain accuracy in the future when somebody come to hospital i'll just analyze medical history give it to my model and my model will give me predictions so based on that prediction initially only i'll get to know how much attention this patient would be required yes so that will be our ultimate goal at the end of the day so don't worry we will do this entire process live into system but before we do that let's take a break here and after the break we are going to go into the system and apply the same scenario in live system to find predictions and find our model now, before we go into the system, let's also quickly talk about our final use case from the business standpoint of view. So you can see here our demo use case. You are working as a lead developer in the field of data science and machine learning. Recently, one of our customer who is basically a chain of hospitals approach you to achieve following requirements. The first requirement part is planning plan the data so customer will offer you the test data for patients who had a history of heart disease in the second step what will happen is we will have to predict so we will be developing a predictive machine learning model where goal is to design and develop a model which determines the accuracy accuracy and determines the confusion matrix aoc roc curve based on that incoming training and validation data set so we need to develop a machine learning model to identify if a given patient is suffering from a heart disease or not. Once the predictive model is created, we will deploy the predictive model and create a application where we will design a API and a application which can run on SAP BTP to offer it to the hospital users, doctors. So the staff can use the application to pass the patient information to our application and then eventually the application would return the predictive probability whether a patient can develop heart disease or not so that's a simple requirement a end-to-end -end use case we will be developing start my application and now we get a patient name also. So let's say Rebecca. And this test data, what we already have there, I click on predict button and we should get the prediction then. So you can see prediction result, patient name, Rebecca, age 30, medium risk, probability 41%. She doesn't have a heart disease for sure. Yes, that is our prediction result. Now, if I you can see it's it's a medium risk orange color now if i increase the smoker value the chronic disease value diabetic also alcoholic also and age is above let's say 65 yeah and weight is 120 obese so obviously high risks so i predict is triggering and you can see the risk level has increased to red so this is kind of a easy ui you can give it to the hospital, to the hospital team where they can feed in the data of an incoming patient immediately and the model, our machine learning capability, the model can predict the value and then give them an indication whether this patient have high tendency to being a heart patient. So we treat them 
with utmost urgency so that could be really life saving for people for hospital also they can you know utilize this real time application for their use case so that is how we can design and develop our first ml use case end to end in the live system and leverage it with that thank you so much for watching this video with me today if you feel this content is helping you kindly subscribe and share this channel in the whatsapp group of your company teams and i hope to see you in my next episode happy learning till then goodbye and see you again